Guys, welcome back. And I am glad to have you guys back. Guess what we're doing? We're doing an overnighter. Imagine that. This is gonna be our third overnighter so far uh, since fall started. And uh, that's just really awesome. I don't usually get out here and do overnighters that often. But uh, this shelter that I made has really inspired me to get out more. And of course, I've been getting the okay for Mrs. Angel. So, you know, you gotta make sure it's okay with her first because you know who the boss is. Remember that. <laughs> Guys, anyways, so yes, we're back at the survival shelter and everything is holding up really well. Everything left over from last time. Um, but yeah, everything's holding up really good. Leaves are falling more, so that means that tomorrow we are gonna start putting leaves on the shelter, but we're also gonna be winterizing it, which that is part of winterizing it, but I'm gonna be adding some more to the structure of this survival shelter, but that won't be until tomorrow, so we'll say that for in the morning. But it'll be fun when we do that in the morning, so we're gonna get up kinda of early and start that and get it going. But in the meantime, we're sleeping over here tonight, and uh, I, um, gosh, I lost train of thought here. What was I gonna say? I have no idea what I was gonna say. But yeah, we're sleeping over here tonight. So, and then tomorrow we're gonna get up in the morning and winterize the shelter. But um, I got my first strike MRE. I got this backpack that I'm using. I'll show you that here in a minute. Some different surplus gear. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna have a little good time tonight. Probably get a little fire going. Maybe, maybe not. It's very windy out today, as you've probably already heard in the uh, sound audio of this. But uh, yeah, so basically just doing overnight or night. And then tomorrow we're winterizing the shelter, so uh, enjoy the show. But so this is the same pack that uh, that we used for the Alice pack on steroids. You see there's the hip belt that I used from this pack, which I have two of these. This isn't the one exactly, but this exact same hip belt, the shoulder straps, and then of course you have the sleep system there on the bottom. That's all on the Alice pack that I have. That's This is the pack that the stuff in the Alice pack comes from. <laughs> is the Amali 2 pack, so I'm trying to get to. This thing's pretty nice and comfortable, so I actually got this from a co-worker and I got a really good deal on it. I think I paid $40 for it. The only thing it's missing is the uh, sustainment pouches, which connect here on the side, and they're, they're big. So I've been trying to keep my eye out on those, but there's one for each side. But other than that, it's got everything. And, uh, I'll go more in the detail of this back probably another time, but for right now, I've got a sleeping pad that we're gonna use that I've used in earlier videos, and I've actually had to repair this sleeping pad. It's an old, old sleeping pad. I have some Tyvek uh, ground sheet, some tough stuff there, but I specifically brought that one because uh, <laughs> this is a Vietnam era sleeping pad and it's, it's got some nicknames and I'm not gonna say what they are but uh, yeah this thing is the most comfortable sleeping pad I've ever slept on so I'm gonna go ahead and get aired up and we'll talk a little bit about it this is the air air nozzle for it <laughs> this thing is insane You don't get anywhere fast blowing this thing up. So there it is. This thing has got to be, <laughs> I'd say at least three inches thick. It's just an air mattress. But this is an old military air mattress. Look at the date here. 4969. This thing is still holding air. 1969. And I have slept on this quite a few times. 
Now I come down here to the bottom. Right here, I had to do a repair on it. That's T-Rex tape, but I also seam gripped it. There's a little tiny hole here. Actually not a hole, well there was a hole, but the seam here was coming apart. So I had to seam grip it and then I taped it to give it extra strength. And I just wanted something comfortable to sleep on because the military mats, even the thermos mats, my and the climate mats, um, they kill me. I mean, my hips hurt. Every morning I wake up, my hips are killing me. And this mat here has just been so comfortable. I did bring my climate mat just in case this thing fails on me, so I'm hoping it doesn't. <laughs> it's 4.48, uh, October 22nd right now. And um, I forgot to tell you, it's 82 degrees. I got up to 82 today. <laughs> but it's not like a summer heat, so. And I brought me the Silky Ano, or the Silky Ano. And uh, man, this, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna give you a little hint. This thing is awesome. This isn't something I would carry in my survival pack. It'd always be a saw and a knife. I use those two together, so. Medium sized knife. But, yeah. Silviano. So basically my plan is get up early morning and we're gonna start winterizing shelter. I'll explain more to you in the morning what we're gonna do to the shelter to winterize it. <laughs> but um, for now, we're just gonna basically have an overnighter and uh, have a little fire possibly. And we're gonna finish off our first strike MRE from our last overnighter. So nothing too exciting, but I hope you guys enjoy it still. So I think tomorrow we'll have a little more fun. <laughs> Man, it's blowing pretty good. <laughs> it might be a little scary bit of a night tonight. That's the only tree I'm concerned about is right there. Hopefully it dies down. I think it's supposed to tonight. Okay. Just a little survival tip and actually a first aid tip. When you're splitting wood, you see some people do this. They'll put their ax or hatchet and they'll bounce it like this and get it and get the blade stuck in there and then pick it up and hit it. Don't ever grab your wood and do that. If you ever watch alone, if you marry that one lady, I hate to use her example, but this happens to the best of us. But she had it like this. And she went down like this to get the blade stuck in the wood. And what happened is that axe, when she went down, the axe popped out and fell right on her hand right there. Cut her open bad enough, she had to leave the show. So that is something you don't want to do.
the SRK SK5 steel. Makes beautiful feather sticks. Not too shabby. They going. We got fire. Yay! Ooh, that wind is blowing like crazy. Man, I have not been doing really good with fires. It went out. Oh well. I gotta get back out and start practicing more. No fire tonight. It's way too windy, so we're gonna get something to eat. Damn. On the menu tonight is a first strike ration that we didn't get to finish. And our main course is chicken breast filet and barbecue sauce. I got the BCB dragon cooker here, so get that nice and warmed up for me there. I'm gonna talk to you real fast here. I had mentioned to you guys in the last video, in part two, what videos would you guys like to see when I'm not here at the camp shelter? And you guys responded. So I made a list and I'm gonna go ahead and start a new playlist called viewer request or um, viewer videos requested or something. I don't know. I'll I just heard something and it got my attention. Okay, on another note, I'm gonna make some viewer request videos for you guys. And I have had a couple guys wanna see CFP 90 backpack fix. We're gonna do that one, but not yet. It's gonna be a while, probably at least another month, because I'm gonna be doing that with my father at his store in his machine shop. So he's not going to be around here in a couple weeks, so we're going to have to wait for that one. But we will do it, I promise you. But the first video that we are going to do is going to be for GM Dieselman. And he wanted to see some of my prized military surplus stuff. So I figured to start it off, that's the one we're going to start with. So be on the lookout for that video. Dinter is served. I think it's plenty warm enough. Actually, I have like less than an hour left on my SD card that I have in the camera, so I gotta be careful because I have filming to do in the morning too. I gotta try to make this a one part video. I'm gonna try my best. Problem is making it into two parts, it's when my videos are longer, you know, and I just, I don't have a system more powerful enough to do it. So I have to do it in two parts, but I'm gonna try my best to make this one the one. Oh, this looks so weird. <laughs> Look at this. This is weird and bizarre looking. 
That is bizarre looking. Cut a piece off here. That's hard to do. There's what it looks like. It's not too bad. It's chicken. It's a little better bite for you. It's not too bad. Okay guys, I am in bed, and uh, don't really have much else to say. I was able to get a little fire going. I decided to go and get the wind kind of died down. But uh, I had to put that block there because it was really blowing that way. So it's just a tiny little fire. I had to get something to keep the morale up tonight, you know? But uh, man, I'll tell you what. The sleeping pad or sleeping mat from the Vietnam era, I just lay down on it and it is so comfortable and I can't believe this thing's lasted this long <laughs> but uh I do have a feeling that I'm gonna be a little too hot but we'll see I'll see you guys in the morning and uh, we'll be up bright and early good night Five eighteen in the morning. Rise and shine. This is the day the Lord has made. I got the coffee going, guys. And right over here. Last night. You can see it there. I thought seeing my camera in the shadow. The uh, <laughs> sleeping pad went flat on me. So I'm glad I brought me an extra sleeping pad because that would have been a really rough night. It was already a pretty rough night last night. I slept off and on. Yeah. We're going to early start this morning, get this shelter winterized. So. Here's our coffee this morning. Spray dried. Coffee instant type two spray dried. <laughs> coffee is ready. Uh, the name of this coffee, or not the name of it, but being spray dried just sounds kind of skeptic, or I'm skeptical of it, you know? Spray dried. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's not too bad. A little hot. Anyways, good morning, guys. And uh, we made it all night. Sadly, say my sleeping pad did deflate on me in the middle of the night so I had to get my climate sleep pad out so yeah that was kind of a bummer <laughs> uh, got to figure out where it's probably another hole in it somewhere or falling apart but I don't know but other than that uh, windy all night and clear sky slept off and on all night not get not very much sleep but that's all right. We're up early so we can get the shelter going, which shouldn't take too long, but I might have to make this video into two parts. So 
I could be ending a video right here. So if I am going to end the video, I'll say goodbye to you. I'll see you in part, not part, but I'll see you in the winterization of the shelter video. Or I might just make this in the one video. So either way, whichever way it goes, yeah. My mind isn't quite working right. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm going to finish this coffee, guys, and I'll see you here in a little bit when the sunlight comes out. It's still a little dark yet, guys. It is starting to get light up there, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started on this shelter because it'll be light here probably within 30 minutes. But that's going to be our breakfast for this morning. It's a mocha flavored first strike nutritious energy bar. And I read on here it said, oh, where's it at? All right. Oh, 110 milligrams of caffeine, approximately the same as one cup of coffee. So, <laughs> looks really good. So the first thing we're gonna do is I already got kind of a, a wall here. I wanna add to it. That's where the tripod is right there. So I wanna bring it over probably a couple more feet. And I'm gonna do that on both sides there. They kind of enclose it. That's where we're going to start for now. And I'll have a little entrance to get inside there. Basically like putting a puzzle together, <laughs> uh, trying to fit the pieces in here. And I think I'm going to cut that thing off here. That's going to be pretty hard to do, but yeah, you get the idea. I'm going to try to center up my fire pit right here, the door entrance. I'll probably bring a little bit more over on this side and I'll probably call that done. And then we'll move on to what we're going to do next. So for you guys that aren't familiar with the Morris Kohansky uh, Super Shelter, they call it, um, I did one similar to it earlier this year. I'll put a link up the screen. But I'm just going to kind of show you what we're going to do. I'm not going to leave this up, but basically the whole idea is the opening is going to be here. I have my two mil plastic. And so basically, you have this all covered like this. With my uh, fire right out front. But this, uh, this bottom here will be rolled up with the log so it'll keep it nice and tight to the shelter. But uh, that, that's, that's basically what we're going to be doing. That's what I've got done so far. It's not very much. But, uh, there just isn't a whole lot of leaves down yet. I mean, they're coming down, but I'm just gonna go to have, I'm gonna have to hold off and put leaves on the back of this. No big deal. Just this gives us another reason to come out here to finish shelter before we do another camp out. <laughs> Okay guys, we pretty much got everything done for the day. One more thing that I was gonna do, but I, it's gonna be hard to do. I'll show you. I wanted to build a raised bed in here. and We might still be able to do it, I'm not sure yet. But we are behind my family's property, so this isn't my property, and 
there are a ton of saplings out here i mean they're all over that's what i would need to make this raised bed down here but that means i have to cut down live trees i won't have to cut down that many maybe 10 but it's not my property so we're gonna have to skip on that for now but uh either way the shelters are gonna be fine but um so yeah that's uh the overnight if i made this into one video and getting the shelter winterized or getting it ready it's it's getting winterized i guess what i mean to say I'm not fully done. I got to still put some more leaves on the back, but we got most of it done. Um, so all we have left to do is to come back out here and put the leaves on, do some winter overnights in it and test it out. And I'll probably be having a thermometer in the shelter too, to show you how warm these things get. I was very skeptical about the Morris Kohansky shelter. I saw a lot of people do them on YouTube saying it was like 80 degrees inside when it was like zero degrees outside. And I can probably say they weren't lying because I tried the shelter earlier this year, the Morse Kohansky style shelter, and I could not believe how warm that was. I mean, it's the science of it, it's, it, it really does work. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. But guys, it's been a lot of fun and I will see you guys in the next video. And um, we're gonna do a viewer request video. So I'll see you in that video next. See you guys. God bless. Bye.